This is an old trailer. Now this is a mechanical handbrake, ladies and gentlemen. This trailer is from 1988. So she's a golden oldie. Now this look, see this handbrake? This is before spring brake chambers come out. This is what we used to have look. The old mechanical park brake. Look at that look. Drivers nowadays don't even know how to use it. You get all the cable snarled up in the cog and that. So you drop your trailer and then you have to put this on. Or else it goes walkabout creek. Down hills and things. There look. She's a minter, isn't she? I've got to do a reline on her. I'll show you how I'll get on. Here we are, look, the other side of the old beast. And there's the cable, look. There's the handbrake down there. The cable goes around these pulleys, around the front axle slackers, loops around and goes to the second axle slackers. This is just a tandem axle trailer. So bear in mind these cables, every time you do an NOT, fit a new cable, because they do have tendencies to snap. So I'm gonna wind off the brakes and uh, take the wheels off and take the drums off. She wants a bit of persuasion. Harry the sledgehammer. She's off. I'll have to go underneath for that one. Wheels felt like they've been on since 1988. Now, if you've been working on these since you was a lad like me, you might have one of these sockets. An ROR hub nut socket. Yeah, to take it off. You've got a locking nut there, a small locking nut, then a washer that, that goes into a, a recess and then the other nut behind it. So you've got two different size nuts. But if you haven't got one of these, you can always use one of these. Get it on the side, twat it off, jobs are good. Enough. Normal threads on these, off the off. It's got no tab washer rope. That nut. And you got that washer look with a little keyhole in it. And these holes. And then this other nut has got a peg sticking out that sticks into them holes that's the locking and these when you put the nut back on the first nut back on you don't tighten it right up because it's old-fashioned tapered bearings so you've got to tighten it right up and then let it off a quarter of a turn to give it that leeway for when it gets hot if you tighten it right up goes down the road it'll overheat so you can't got no expansion it's got no space for expansion there's the outer bearing it's got the same on the inner come out separate just check your bearing, look. There's the lines in it all scores in your bearing. The marks in your bearing. If it's got marks or lines or it's a bit brown, change the bearing and the race. All you need to do now is pull the other off. Try not to hit your stub like I just have. <laughs> There's your inner bearing there. There's your hub seal there. You're in a hub seal. When you're doing a reline, I'll show you. Take these hub seals out and replace them. Because uh, if not, it pisses all fucking grease all over your brake shoes and that. Right, how to remove your hub seal. This is a heel bar. You see that? Under there, look like that. Again, I'm tacky handed because I've got one hand. The other one's holding the camera. Yeah, and then leave the back. That's just the outer bit of it. Seal removal specialist. Here we go. There we're gone. There we go, look. There's it there. Ooh. There's a bit of hub seal as well. That we don't want. And there's the inner bearing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change the drums on this one. See them heat cracks, look? All in the drums, look. 
These are seven inch quick fits. You've got a retaining spring there and same on the other side there. And a returning spring there, look. Can you see that? There, look. So what you've got to do to take these off is get your serial screwdriver. I've got a quite long one, look, it's handier. Put it in there and all you're doing, put it in there and all you're doing is lifting up. Look, lifting that spring out. Look, and then clip it out. Same on yon side. If you can see that lot, just getting my screwdriver in and lifting it up, he says. He says, there look. And then them both off. Got both of them off. And then just leave it down and out that way. It's a bit hard, I'm doing it one-handed, holding the phone and all. And then up. Bastard, can't get it up. I took the one hand. I'm gonna have to put the phone down. Where did I get to? That was it, and then up this one. Ta ta! She's a little beauty. See these rollers? They're held in by a little spring clip. Again, with your Cyril. Put your Cyril in. I'll leave them out. Sorry, it's a bit shaky. There, look, just leaving it out, look. See them, look, they what hold it in. Into the, them holes there. Push that in and clip them little tabs into them holes. But you need to buy new ones, them clips, every time, because they're only flimsy. Remove your rollers, look. Just checking that they're not flat spotted or out. Check your cam as well, because you've got your eye. You're out of cam bush there, look. See that little bit of play? That's all right. It's when it goes up and down bad. That's when you're out of cam bush is a one. That's only got a slight bit of play in it. Get your new grease and then pack it through the bearing. I always pack it, look, from the, from the wide end. Pack it through, push it through until it comes out the other side. There we go. Pick your studs out the hammer or oh, the command one hammer i've usually got a couple of hammer but that's why i've lost it so try and hit them smack on the head like that you don't want a bit angle like that or you fuck the threads up on them so one hit straight down if you can manage to do one in the command two hits that was Right, after that, get your, get your freshly greased wheel bearing, inner wheel bearing, put that in. Yeah, you've already put grease on the uh, recess of the hub. Grab your new hub seal, grab your hub seal, place it on as level as possible. Do it, Chris! As level as possible. Right, this is, it's a bit tricky, this one. Get a bit of wood, yeah? Put it on top in the center. Put a bit of rag on first, just so your shit don't go through. Put it in the center. I'm gonna get a sledgehammer. Right, ready? One hit right in the center. Right, and then just take it off. Yeah, it's level all the way around. Then you can send her home. If it's a bit buckled, a bit pissed up like that, you have to take it out, reposition it, and hit it again, once. All right, center again. Until you hear it, that's down. Look, flush look, all the way around. What do you do, drum on? Put your studs in. Clip. Roller. Yeah? Put the clip in the roller, job's good in. And then press the clip into the shoe. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Make sure it's got the roll pins in it. Sometimes people take the roll pins out. I don't know why, tight bastards. So make sure they get the, you've got the roll pins in. I forgot to order some as well, so it's a good job these have got them in. 
get your big return spring, clip it on that one, clip it on that one, and go straight onto the mats and like that. Right. Put your top shoe in this little hanger. There, that one in the hanger. Put that one in the in the cannon. And you're gonna pull this one down, move that one out here, pull that one down onto the can. Ready? Like that look. And then pull that one back. Make sure that's in. Pick it up somewhere. There look. Clip it in. And then we're gonna get these two. One, two, out of one. Where's that cereal gone? Get your long cereal. Pull it through the spring. Pull it down into the into the shoe. Hit it in, and then just check that it's in. Same with the inner one. Right now you can lift your hub and your drum back onto your back onto your axle. You can get a trolley jack under here and lift this up if you want to because it's heavy. I'm going to give it a go and try lifting it up because I do not like to give in. You watch, I bet I won't be able to do it now. Build myself up for it. I ain't done this in a while. One, two, three, maximum effort. Oh. No, I can't do it. Give it another go. <laughs> Lifted these up, Pete. <laughs> I've just lifted the content thing up, but I didn't press record on my recorder. I've literally just lifted the bastard up. We won't record it. So I'm about to take it off again to lift it up again. No, I can't do it now. Call Pete. Oh. Pete's gone because I'm too old. <laughs> Oh, that's easy. Nice. Well done, thank you. Right, then we put the outer bearing in. And then we put the first nut, that's what I was on about, that peg that was sticking out. Put that first nut on. Spin the other round as you tighten it, because then it seats the up seal. Yeah, tighten it right up, so it's tight. And then back it off, just over a quarter of a turn I like to go. Like that. Make sure you can spin it. And then you get your, your washer with the holes in it. Put your lining peg in the stub recess there. And then you gotta line the, the peg up with one of the holes. Lock it off with your locking nut. That one's to be tightened right up. 